In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 7, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, questions 9 through 11. Question 8 was part of a paired question. We did that in a previous video. So we're going to start with question number 9. Based on the equation above, what's the value of ax plus b? So this type of question, if we're asked to find a certain equation, we need to manipulate this to get that. And so here's an ax plus b. The first step is let's add 6. So at least we have an ax and a b on the left side. So we're going to end up with 9ax plus 9b. If we add 6, we get 27. So we're getting closer. How do we reduce this to get ax plus b? Well, we can divide the whole equation by 9. And then we get what we're looking for, ax. We get the b. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So it's a pretty straightforward question where we have to manipulate to solve for what the question is asking for, a. All right, let's take a look at question number 10. Lanny spent 15% of her eight hour workday in meetings. How many minutes of her workday did she spend in meetings? This is a common question in section four. We've got to convert the units. So eight hours, but then we want to convert it to minutes. You do need to know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And so the first step is I convert it into minutes, eight times 60. You could use your calculator, but eight times six is 48. We'd add a zero, it's 480 minutes. And we want 15%. Here I'd probably use the calculator. So it's multiplied by 0.15. So 480 times 0.15 equals 72. And that's the answer, D. And we do the last question on this page, number 11. A software company is selling a new game in a standard edition and collector's edition. The box for the standard edition has a volume of 20 cubic inches. The box for the collector's edition has a volume of 30 cubic inches. The company receives an order for 75 copies of the game. The total volume for the order to be shipped is 1870 cubic inches. Which of the following systems of equations can be used to determine the number of standard edition games S and the collector's edition games C that were ordered? This is a common question as well. You don't have to solve it. We just have to set up the two systems of equations. So the first one I would probably do the easier one is what I call the single variable. It's the total number of copies of orders that were sent. And we've got just two orders. We've got S for standard, C for collectors. And we're told that the total number of copies shipped was 75. So we know that S plus C equals 75. Now, we don't see that as a choice, but we can rearrange this. This has 75 minus S. So if we isolate, we solve for C, we can just subtract S. We get C equals 75 minus S. And that's what this first equation has, the second one as well. These two would definitely work. If we look at C, S minus C, we can't get that from this equation. These are both out automatically just because the first equation is wrong. Now we'll do the second equation for the volume. And so we know that the standard edition is 20 cubic inches and the collectors is 30. And so we've got 20 for the standard plus 30 for the collectors. We know that equals the total volume, 1870. And if you look at these two, you just have to be careful because it almost looks like they're both right. But you see on the second one, they switch the order. They put 30s, but it's 30c. This one is correct, 20s plus 36. So just be careful, not really a tough question. The answer here is A.